Okay, so I am uh, Dr. Jonathan Avenon. I feel a little bit intimidated in this video because I'm here <laughs> with the one and only Beth Fowler. <laughs> Some of you recognize her. I recognize her. How long have you been? Uh, Not a good chew. <laughs> <laughs> From orange to new black. There you go. So how long have you been my patient for? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Forever, I think. Ten years. Since you started at the, at, uh, in Hawthorne. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, you had a, a splendid recommendation from the, the previous dentist. I mean, he really did a whole thing with uh, my husband and I. And he started rattling off all your accreditations and, uh, and how impressed he was with you. And he said, and he's a really nice guy. You're going to really like him. Like, and we loved him. And I remember he had a health problem. He had to retire. Um, so we were like, okay, whatever. And dentists, I really shocked before I found him. And Jack would go to a dentist and he'd say, and he's, he's nice, he's good, you'll like him. And I'd go, no, I don't like him. I don't like what he's doing, da, da, da. And so I would, the threshold of, of approval was really high because I am an actress and I have to be on TV and on stage. And so uh, then- You were like the my star we, patient. So I remember, I remember when I first met you, I'm like, can you please just bring me a headshot and sign it? And then was, I was so young and I just started, I'm like, I have an actor, I'm so happy. <laughs> and you were my patient. So oh, that's very flattering. So that's fast forward nice. a couple of years. Uh, and then you discovered that I was really just a New Jersey housewife. <laughs> you need a good dentist uh, like everybody uh, else. And it, you know, and I've got my retainers in now. That's good. And and you should see well, how I, this is very nice, but it looks even better without the retainers. How many seasons I'm did you? I'm doing the uh, process. How many now. seasons did you film while going through your dislike? Oh, one. One. And I did a whole season with my retainers in and. Um, and Dr. said, Dr. Jonathan said, uh, I watched your show, and I'm going to tell you, they're not going to see your retainers because you don't show your teeth when you talk. A little bit on the bottom, and that's all. And I did, when I watched season three, I was amazed. He was right. <laughs> right, but now you but see now how you I smile. Can, yes, and I think, I th actually think that I taught myself not to show my teeth when I spoke. Because I was, uh, yes, I was aware of my teeth weren't perfect, and I was an actress, and so I used to protect myself. So now I'm going to be more free. I'm really excited. That's I'm awesome. So you had Invisalign done. Yes. Your tea, your Today smile. is my coming out day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your smile looks amazing. Thank you. What Thank would you, you say to somebody that's maybe considering it, says maybe they want to do it, they don't want to do it? Give yourself a present. And I remember uh, Stephanie said, look at it as a gift to yourself, because uh, it's, it's, something that um, is a responsibility, it's routine, it's a nuisance, um, but it's something that you adapt to and you make your own little tricks and you improvise and you make it more comfortable. To use. They're never painful. I was amazed. There's no discomfort. It's just the nuisance of having to take them out and brush your teeth all the time and put them back in and when you're really you know, working in the program. Um, but the reward is extraordinary. And I knew it was coming in. And mine took a long time, longer than most, I think, because old lady that I am, my teeth were very crowded on the bottom. As you know, we old. girls know we get you know, older, our teeth kind of scrunched together a little bit. And uh, I didn't even know I was a candidate. Because the dentist, years ago, I said, no, you have to start pulling teeth and this, that, and the other thing, because they were so crooked on the bottom. And and you said, no, no. And you told me that the dental profession has is one of the most medical professions that has grown and um, in recent years because people are more aware of their cosmetic, cosmetic look. And so much to um, my surprise and delight and excitement, I had an option that I didn't think I could, that I had. And I did, and I took it, and I'm so glad I did. Well, I'm it was an really, uh, honor to treat you. Oh, please. I'm so oh, happy please. the way that everything turned well, out. Well, you know that I love you, and I'm very <laughs> glad to be with you, and I really thank you for what you've done for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You bet. Thank you, guys.